and welcome to Aurora Public Library's Take and Make Kit. This week we have the macrame earring kit. So what you're going to get in your kit is four lengths of macrame cord, two earrings, and two jump rings, and then also two small lengths of embroidery floss. The other thing you might need for the kit or that will make it a little bit easier is two small sets of needle nose pliers, but you can also use regular pliers. And I've gone ahead and tied uh, put some masking tape on one end of each of the four macrame cords. Okay, so we're gonna start. So what you're doing is taking two lengths of cords per jump ring. So that's gonna make up one earring in each. So you're gonna take the masking tape side and put that through the jump ring and let it sit about halfway and then do the same thing with the other length. that through the jump ring. Okay. And then you want to make sure that the sides are roughly even. Get those ones out of the way for now. So that's more or less even. And then you're going to make sure that you have your cord Align so that so you can see that this is one cord and this is the other cord and I want the The legs of them for lack of a better term to be in between so I've got this cord running on top of this cord So one leg of each in between the other Okay, so the way this works is You have your four legs and you're gonna take the one in this corner and kind of do almost like a backwards figure four over the next cord to the left. And then you're gonna do the same thing with this cord and fold that over the next cord over and then do the same thing with this guy, fold it over. And then with your last leg here, you're actually gonna go through this first loop that you made. Okay, so right now I have these four ends and I'm gonna pull them to make a knot as evenly as I can. Over that jump ring. So on the, on the side that's touching the table, I've got my jump ring there. And this is sort of my working side where I've got the four corners here. And I'm just gonna go around and tighten each one. And that's an important step between each of your pattern repetitions is to tighten all these cords so that you can barely see it, but it is a square with these four loops made. And that is the basic pattern, and you're gonna repeat it five times. So uh, the way that I've been doing it is just to take the two sides that have masking tape, because I know that this belongs to one string and this belongs to another string, and I start with the one closest here, and then I just repeat my pattern of folding each one over the one to the left, and then I, I know that I'm done because I'm taking this last masking tape one and I'm putting it through the loop made by the first masking tape one. And again, tighten up that knot. Okay, so once you've done that repeat four or five times, then you can take your earring, and this is where the pliers come in handy. Just turn your jump ring until you find the part with the little cut for the connection. Open it up, put the earring itself on, and then close it back up again with the pliers. And then the last step is to take that thread embroidery floss and that's what you're going to use to sort of tie a knot in the very bottom. It's also how you can give these earrings a little bit of color but you can use regular string if you want to keep it all neutral. You can also try dyeing your macrame cord if you have some dye at home or nail polish or paint that might work. And you just do a couple knots in there for good measure. 
And because this is macrame, what you can do at the end is take off that masking tape. I'm just gonna cut it off because I want it a little bit shorter. And then you can just break apart the strands here and that's what's going to give it a more macrame look at the end. And those will fray a little bit more as you wear them and play around with them. So your end result will look something like this. And there you have the Take and Make kit for the macrame earrings.